I guarantee there's not going to be a study that's going to come out that's going to make me go, oh my God, everything I thought to be true. Yeah. It's not going to happen. We'll see little things here and there. Yeah. And usually what happens, and this is not being arrogant. Again, this is just because of our experience. Usually what happens is studies come out and confirm kind of what we've been communicating that we didn't have studies to, to support. You know, I'll give you guys an example. A study just came out and um, actually Lane, a good friend of mine, Lane Norton, a lot of you may know who he is, is actually doing a deep dive into the study. Okay. So a study comes out that shows that artificial sweeteners may have an effect or impair glucose metabolism in the body through affecting the microbiome of the, of the gut or the body. In other words, something you've been saying on the podcast for a very long time. Yeah. There, so, and, and what I've been saying is this again, big rocks. If taking artificial sweeteners is the only way you can cut your calories down. So now you're at a deficit the benefits probably greater than the potential detriment. Although that's never been my strategy. I've never seen it be successful with anybody except for the competitors, people, competitors, only and, people I've ever seen it successful with. Yeah. Who track every single whatever. And you don't want to live that way. Right. But what have we always said? There is an effect, even if the effect is just the yeah, perceived, it's not innocuous, even yes. Even if the perceive, if the effect is just perceived sweetness, that that's an effect on the body. And that means that there's going to be other effects that we don't know about, even if it's just behavioral, right? Anyway, this study comes out that shows, there may be an effect on insulin sensitivity or glucose metabolism. And it's going to kind of support what we've been saying, which is it's not innocuous. There's, there's, if there wasn't an effect, nobody would use artificial sweeteners. And people say, well, what do you mean? What effect? Well, you taste it. You perceive it. That's an effect. Does that affect your behaviors? Of course it does. Otherwise, you wouldn't take it in the first place. Nonetheless, I'm not going to dive deep into it because Lane's super honest, got tons of integrity, and what he does very well, better than anybody – as he takes a study, and I know what he's doing right now, <laughs> is he's literally writing probably a 20-page you know, yeah. essay on the whole thing. Line for line. Yeah, so yeah. When, when he gets that out, I'm sure he'll talk about it, and then I'll get on the phone with him, and he'll break it down for me. And, and you know, He's a scientist, so... Did you guys talk much about it already? Did you, or is it just... Oh, yeah, so anytime I see a study in, an, in a space that I know he's very, very versed right. in, right. I'll send it to him, and he's usually... He's really good. He's really honest. He'll say, oh, this is actually a good study, or he'll say... He'll break it down. No, that sucks, because whatever. For example, that study that had come out that showed that there was like a 90% conflict of interest with the governing body that determines our dietary guidelines. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I know that sucks. And he says, but I don't know how else. No one else is going to fund it. Yeah. He so. goes, cause he got funded. Remember he studied leucine. That was mm -hmm. his big thesis when he was in college. And he said, I wasn't going to go to the freaking wheat industry to get funding for leucine. I had to go to the beef industry and the dairy industry. So people may say, oh, you're influenced by beef and dairy, you know, but he's like, where else am I going to get the That's money? That's where I got you? the money. Yeah. Yeah. So, he, you know, he's very honest about that kind of stuff. So I, so I'll, I'll let everybody know what he says, um, you know, about that particular, but I, but again, I stand by what I said at the very least there's behavioral impacts from artificial sweeteners, which is why studies show unless they're controlling every damn calorie, average person, if they just switch out their artificial sweeteners, you know, their, their normal sweeteners for artificial sweeteners, they don't lose weight because their behaviors change to make up the calories. Mm. This is what ends up It's crazy, though, that how much we've been talking about that for so long now that we can't get, like, just a little bit of trust on that. Like, you know, like, we, just because there's not a study for it, when you collectively think of how many total people... Yeah, why, is, why aren't people losing weight? Artificial sweeteners have been around for a long yeah. time. And I mean, I mean, how many, each one of us individually have trained a lot of people and combined, it's like, and the only group that I, I saw value with the diet sodas and the artificial sweeteners is the competitors. Because mm -hmm. they track everything. And, and yeah. Because yeah. everything is being tracked and, and otherwise. And measure everything. Yeah. Otherwise, what ends up happening, you end up eating more calories somewhere else. And I even catch this as my own behavior and I have an ex-competitor and I know that. It's that, and I remember I was talking, I talked about it on the show. I remember you shared it. There's this kind of interesting phenomenon that happens that went for myself when I have a soda, a regular soda that I know has 180 or 220 calories in it. I know that I'm getting calories. Therefore, I'm less likely to have a second or a third or anything like that because I'm already like going, oh, okay, I've already yeah. had, I've had that. That was one treat for me versus if I'm having diet Cokes, it's like, oh, zero. <laughs> Next thing you know, it goes from one to two to three to four. Like yep. you're drinking so many of them. And then what I notice is it, spikes my appetite and other things other than I want other things to eat. And so then I end up eating those cat, the, cal the, the 180 have. calories yeah. I saved on the soda. I end up consuming in other foods, you know, or in my meals. So Dude. it's,